What is going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well. I'm super excited about recording today's video because I'm gonna share with you something that has a real potential to change your English learning journey, just as it has changed mine. And I'm really serious about it, so please do not take it lightly. So today I'm gonna talk about my secret game changer, a strategy that has skyrocketed my productivity and helped me take control over my procrastination. I've tried many different things before, but nothing worked nearly as well because I can literally count the number of days I have not practiced English ever since I have found out about this method on the fingers of one hand. So I know it works and it works wonders. And I want you to know that this is by far the most important video I've made so far. So please watch it up to the very end. It's really important. I'm not gonna sell anything at the end of this video. I'm not gonna promote anything at the end of, of this video. I promise. I just want you to hear me out because I was also in, in a place where I was practicing English, but I wasn't making a lot of progress. I was, you know, practicing, you know, every other day or something like that. And I felt kind of lost, but yeah, this strategy has helped me a ton. And I know that it can change your journey and it can help you as well. So that's why I want you to watch the video to the very end. And then you can decide what to do with it. You can just be like, okay, the fuck this guy, I'm not gonna do it. Or you can be like, this actually sounds great. I'm gonna give it a shot. So yeah, at least hear me out and then, you know, do with it, whatever you want. So let's jump right into the video. So I call this strategy a win list. And I want to tell you right off the bat that I did not invent this method. I have learned about it from Eric, Eric Roberts. Um, he has his kill list and he actually uses it for his business, for developing his business and he's just dominating. So I was like, why do I take this method and use it for learning English? So I did it. I actually tweaked it a little bit and I called it a win list. And I loved it from the very beginning. It will not only help you develop new habits, but it will also help you improve your self-efficacy, your confidence in yourself. And after a while, you're gonna feel unstoppable. So now please just, uh, let me just jump into the rules that I follow and that I recommend you follow when you create your own win list because there are actually a couple of rules that you need to follow in order to create your own win list and to make it as effective as it can be. Rule number one, every single morning I write down three to five things that are meant to get me closer to my goal. And this is really important because you're not gonna put, um, let's say cleaning the house or doing the shopping or anything like that. You're not gonna put that on your win list. I know that we have to do those things, right? But those are not the things that bring us closer to our goal, right? So you're not gonna write that down. And when I say three to five things, you can be like, oh, it's only three things, it's not enough, I can do more, or it's only five things, um, I can do more. I'm gonna talk about it in a while, but if you start putting, let's say 10 or 15 things on your win list, you're gonna feel overwhelmed. And when you're overwhelmed, you're way more likely to procrastinate, to put doing the things you're supposed to do off. And let's say that you put 10 things on or 15 things on your on your win list and you ended up doing only seven of them even though it might seem that yes you did more you did seven tasks right um, instead of just five but you're gonna go to bed knowing that you didn't do everything you had planned to do and you're gonna feel like a failure and it's not what I want for you that's why I put quote unquote, only three to five things that I know will get me closer to my goal every single day. And now there are days when I do more than that, but here's how I approach that. Let's say um, it's 3 p.m. and I get my shit done, okay? 
I am not allowed to put another thing on my win list unless I have all those five things checked off. I have to complete those five tasks before I can add another one. So let's say that you have an extra 30 minutes that you can and you want to devote into practicing speaking English, you know, using, um, let's say, the shadowing technique. You can do this on one condition. The first five things that you wrote down in the morning are already crossed off. If you have not done those five things that you planned in the morning, you cannot put another task on your win list. That's how it works. Now, if you've completed, if you got done your five things, you don't have to do anything more. You've already won your day. And this is actually what's beautiful about this technique. Like, you don't have to do more than you planned in the morning. You've done what you said you were gonna do and you don't have to do anything more. You, you won. Okay, rule number two, start small. And what I mean by that is, when you write down your win list and when you look at it, I want you to feel like, hey, this is actually easy. I can get this done today. Rather than there is no way I'm gonna do this today. Like when you say something like that, you're doing it wrong and you have to change something. And your win list doesn't have to look the same every single day. You can, you know, change things, you can swap them out. Like it's your win list. It's, it's up to you how it's gonna look, right? So yeah, I want you to remember, you have to be sure that you can do whatever you have written down on that list, right? Whatever you have put there, you have to be sure that you can accomplish that. And of course, something may come up or something may happen. You may have to, you know, go pick up your kids because your wife can, cannot do this or, you know, shit happens. The most important thing here is to do what you're supposed to do to do what you wrote down on your win list. And because you actually, when you don't do this, you break a promise to yourself. And that's not good. If you break promises to yourself over and over, then man, you're fucked. You start small and when you gradually complete all the tasks that you said you were gonna do, and you do this day after day, you'll improve your self-efficacy. You'll just believe that you can. You just know that you are the person who's consistent, who's disciplined, and that's the whole point of that. Rule number three, prioritize. And what it means is that you should tackle the most important tasks first or the tasks that you like to do the least. And the reason for that is actually very simple. When you start with the things that are the most difficult or the most challenging, or with the things that you don't really want to do, but you know that you have to in order to you know, progress, you will not have to do them later on when you're already tired because those other things that you will still have to do will be either less challenging or more enjoyable. So I think that organizing your win list that way is actually pretty smart. Rule number four, strive for perfection, but at the same time know that you won't be perfect. And there is a great quote that will actually um, explain what I mean by that. And it's a quote by Norman Vincent Peel. I hope I pronounced his uh, last name correctly. If not, I'm sorry, Mr. Norman. And the quote goes like this, aim for the moon. Even if you miss, you will land among the stars. You have to try to accomplish all the tasks on your win list every single day, no matter what. But at the same time, I want you to know that it's normal that sometimes there will be days that you won't get everything accomplished, right? There will be one or two tasks that you didn't manage to do for whatever reason. That's actually very important too. You want to strive for perfection. You want to be perfect. You want to win every single day. But just know that when something happens, when you know, when you won't be able to complete one or two goals, don't beat yourself up over it. Don't let that one day um, throw you off track, okay? Get your shit together and get back on track the next day and win that day. Okay, and last but not least, rule number five. When you finish a task, 
get your notebook, get a pen and cross it off your list right away. It's very important. Every single time when you cross a task off your win list, I want you to be aware that you have just gotten one step closer to your goal. Whatever your goal is, like whether you want to become a fluent English speaker or whether you want to accomplish this or that goal, whatever, you have just gotten one step closer to this goal. You've done something that got you closer to where you want to be, to your dream life or whatever you're pursuing. With every single check off, you are closer to that goal. Look at this, guys. Today is Saturday and recording this video is the last thing unchecked on my win list for today. And I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to feel fucking amazing checking that off my list and knowing that I won another day. By the way, it's Easter tomorrow, but I'm going to make sure I get my three to five things done no matter what. And really guys, this right here is proof that it's just a matter of time before I get to where I want to be. And I'm going to keep doing my win list. I'm going to keep winning my days because that's what I want. And I also want it for you. I want you to win. I want you to feel amazing when you, you know, check those things off your list, when you feel accomplished, when you feel proud of yourself. And remember, it's not about being perfect. It's about being consistent. And there's no fucking way you will not win if you do this, this win list method every single day. There's, there's no way. You're gonna get to where you wanna be. You, wanna, you will accomplish everything you want to accomplish. You just have to be patient. You just have to be consistent and you cannot quit. So I want to give you an idea of what my win list looks like or what's on my win list. So I'm going to tell you what's on it today. And besides recording this video, which you already know about uh, vocabulary review on Anki. I use Anki to, you know, to practice vocabulary, to, you know, learn new words, add a new word to Anki. Every single day I add one new word to Anki. Speaking practice 30 minutes. So yeah, I practice speaking using um, the shadowing technique, which I made a video about that you can watch here. And I also put a link in the description how I use this technique. Yeah, but that's basically what I talk about um, on this video. Number four was grammar textbook, 15 minutes. I practiced grammar for 15 minutes. I was just doing some exercises from my textbook. And recording this video is my fifth task for today, which I almost finished. Okay guys, it's time to wrap up this video and um, I'm not gonna give any pep talk today. I'm not gonna record any pep talk today because I don't want this video to be too long. Um, I already know that it's gonna be pretty long. I have no idea how long it's gonna end up being, but yeah, I've recorded a lot of stuff and um, yeah, we'll see. I strongly encourage you guys to take what you've learned here and put it into practice. Create your own win list and start winning your days. You'll be surprised how quickly you can progress when you're consistent, when you do the things you're supposed to do. How much you can actually achieve in a relatively short period of time if you're really truly consistent. I hope I said everything I wanted to say because I don't know, I have a feeling that I might have forgotten something. I might have forgotten to, you know, to mention something, um, but hopefully I didn't. If you need any help with, you know, creating your own win list or if you have any questions, just feel free to leave a comment down below or, you know, DM me on Instagram. I'll be happy to help you. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video up to the very end. I really appreciate that. And I will see you in the next one. Take care. Uh, I forgot the word. Ass, 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 ass. Ass. Effective. As effective. Okay guys, let's do it together today. Another win, baby.